Westwood family gave an important warning tonight after their basement caught fire. The cause? A household item a lot of us have, but don't always properly maintain. We wanted you to know how you can easily protect yourself and your home. Nine on Your Side reporter Shannon Kettler got us those answers. Tonight, a charred washer and dryer sit on the back porch of the Terrell home in Westwood after their dryer caught fire last night. Renda Terrell called 911 after smelling smoke. When I went down and down to the basement, got stronger and stronger. And all the, the smoke, and then when I went to the laundry room, I seen where the fire was. It's estimated there are more than 15,000 dryer fires like this one across the country reported every year. Experts say many fires can be prevented with simple maintenance work. Oftentimes people do not uh, clean out their filters, cleaning out the uh, duct work, uh, so that's one of the big problems. Here are some warning signs you may be at risk. Limp blockage may be taking place if your dryer needs to run more than one cycle per load. The outside surface is hot to the touch, and your clothing has a musty or moldy smell. Remember, cleaning the lint screen isn't enough. The rest of the lint builds up over time inside the dryer vent, becoming a fire hazard. The dryer itself can go up to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. So to prevent a fire, it's recommended to get your vents cleaned by a professional once a year. There's a fee attached, but experts say it's money well spent. Bottom line is, typically let the professionals do the job, you know, so that you can be safe and not sorry. In Westwood, Shannon Kettler, 9 on your side. The Cincinnati Fire Department says you should never leave your dryer running if you are not at home. Firefighters also want to remind folks to install smoke alarms on every level of the home, including the basement.